Hey guys, today we're gonna have a look at the Dual X1650 XT from Vision Tech. But first I have to talk about the X1900 Pro. This mid-range card was released in October of 2006 and brings some interesting changes over the previously released ATI part. The 1950 Pro was the first ATI card based on the TSMC 80 nanometer process. But the biggest change was support for native Crossfire. This means that there is no more need for a dedicated Crossfire card and the annoying Y cable. Oh, and keep an eye on this channel to see my upcoming build using these two beauties. Two weeks after the release of the 1950 Pro, ATI released the 1650 XT. And just like its big brother, it supports native Crossfire. Okay, let's remove the massive cooler to see how this card was built and how Vision Tech pulled this off. So of course we have two GPUs on the same PCB. The PLX chip is a PCIe bridge and will forward the data to the two GPUs. Each GPU has their own dedicated memory. The crossfire link between the GPUs is done directly on the PCB. We will have a look at the specification of each card and compare their performance in the benchmarks. But first, let's have a look at the test platform. using the Biostar T-Power i45 motherboard for the benchmarks. It's a LGA775 board based on the Intel P45 chipset. The board is using DDR2 memory and it supports Crossfire, which is a must to run the dual GPU. The CPU I'm using today is the QX9770. This quad core runs at 3200 MHz and has a front size bus of 1600 MHz. It also has 12 megabyte level 2 cache. And as always, I tried to get a stable overclock out of the system. And 3.9 GHz was rock stable on this platform. So let's look at the specifications of the cards. The 1650 XT has 24 pixel shaders, but the 1950 Pro has 50% more. The core and memory clocks are about the same, but the biggest difference is in the memory bandwidth. The 1950 Pro has a 256-bit bus compared to the 128-bit bus of the 1650 XT. That basically doubles the memory bandwidth. The dual 1650 XT has twice the specifications, but you cannot just add everything up. It will depend on how good Crossfire is scaling, of course. So let's find out in the benchmarks if the Dual 1650 XT can beat the 9050 Pro.
So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to see another dual GPU video click the thumbnail or check out my other videos on the channel. See you all in the next one.